All right, so here we are inside of our Ansible control node. Again, this is just a VM in my case that I'm using to do all of the configuration for Ansible, define those playbooks with all of those tasks in them. What do I want to do to my environment? And then I'll push it out from this VM. Again, you could install Ansible on your Mac. In my case, I just happen to do it on an Ubuntu VM. But that said, let's get into it and let's look at this. So if we look at this folder, oops, there we go. So the first thing we'll notice is we have a couple of files and I want us to focus in on a couple right here. So first we have what's called a host file. So if I go ahead and take a look at that, I'm gonna do cat host. And what we can see here, I want you to ignore all of this stuff right here. This is all mostly commented out stuff that's just showing us examples of what we could do. Now in our case, I created essentially a grouping of VMs called Ubuntu VMs, all lowercase. And I added two IPs here, in this case, 133, 134. This is Ubuntu VM 01 and 02. Now, if we look at those other files we have in the environment, let's do cat, or not the other files, let's say we have uh, this YAML file right here. So I've named it apt.yaml or YML. So this is our playbook. This is where we will define what we want to actually do to our environment. So if I take a look at that, I can see here that we have hosts and I've specified Ubuntu VMs, so this matches what was in that host file. So this is telling it kind of the scope of what we're about to execute. Then we have our tasks. Now we can run multiple tasks within a playbook. That's perfectly fine. We can touch multiple environments and do completely different things that seem almost unrelated all in the same playbook. This is a very simple playbook though. So in our case, what we're doing is here, we give it a name. In this case, I've just said Ansible apt install. We're installing nmap, just the test. And then the name of the actual process we're going to run is going to be apt. So basically Ansible is abstracting some of the complexity out here. So I don't have to go and type in the actual command and say sudo apt install nmap dash y, for example. I don't have to type in any of that because Ansible is doing a lot of that for me. So all I do is I specify, I wanna use the apt command. And in this case, I'm going to install the package nmap and the state is going to be present. Now I have a couple of options for state. I could say present, I could say latest, so maybe I want to install the latest version of Nmap. Um, I could say absent. Now what this is doing is defining what I want it to look like after Ansible does its thing. So in this case, present means if it's not installed already, let's go ahead and install it. If we did latest, that means if it's installed already but it's an older version, let's go ahead and upgrade it to the latest version. Absent would be let's just remove it basically. Now in our case, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run this. So we're going to use a command called ansible dash playbook. So I'm going to do sudo ansible dash playbook. And we're going to specify our YAML file that we had there before. And I actually need to specify a password. So there's this concept in ansible called become. It's basically an elevation of privileges so that you can do things that for example, a root user could do. And you can kind of pick on that here because it says become user is root. And for this action, yes, we do want to become root for this one task so that we can install software. So that's what this is doing. I'm just saying basically ask me for the root password as part of this. So I'm gonna kick this off. And actually before we do that, let me go ahead and show you real quick. So I'm gonna switch over to our Ubuntu one and two VM. So let's take a look here. If I move my windows, look right here at the top. We have Ubuntu VM 01 and 02 right here. So if we go ahead and we type in nmap, we can see here that it doesn't know about the nmap software at all. It's nmap is not installed there. If I do it here too, same thing, right? So let's go ahead and switch back to our control node. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw my password in here. And what we're gonna do now is kick off this playbook. So this is going to, let me not type of that, there we go. This is going to now go through reach out, SSH into those VMs and make sure that nmap is installed. So that's what it's going through right now. All right, so this is kind of interesting actually. We had a failure and I wanna walk through this because this is actually good that we see this. So we can see here kind of a summary that we made a change to 134, which happens to be VM02. And we had an error on 133. It says timeout waiting for privilege escalation prompt. So that's interesting. But if we go down here under play recap, we can see here that basically Changed equals zero means we did not change anything on 133. We did make a change to 134, and we can see that we had a failure on 133. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this one more time just in case we had some kind of temporary issue with that other VM. 
while we're doing that we're going to switch over to these VMs and we're just going to verify that we did install it on fact on O2 so if we run this is 01 so let's go ahead and check that as of right now this should not be working there we go it's not now let's go ahead and check O2 so it was successful the first time we ran it so this should be good and there you go I get the prompt for nmap so this is giving me all kind of the help information if I want to understand the syntax of nmap but the point is it is installed here so I'm good with O2 so I'm gonna actually minimize O2 for now and let's go ahead and wait a second for O1 and see what happens here okay so it looks like I ran it again and we got the same failure and I suspect what's happening so this timeout by default is looking for 12 seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this real quick I'll do sudo uh, nano ansible.config so we can actually change there's a timeout somewhere in here let's see if we can find that really quick Okay, so we're just gonna throw it in here. I'm just gonna pick somewhere, I'll just do it up at the top. But anyway, we can change this timeout, oh, there it is right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and change that. Actually, we're gonna make that 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna rerun the command. So all I'm really doing is just tweaking it so it gives it a little more time to do its thing. And we'll see if that resolves the issue with that one VM. Okay, so it was a success. So making that little tweak actually was fine. And it's interesting because I've actually run this before and had no problems in my lab. But obviously in this case, we had to give it a little more time for it to install the software so everything didn't time out. So that said, I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. If we switch over now to VM01, which is the one we were having problems with, let's go ahead and open up our terminal and let's type nmap and cross our fingers. There we go. We can see nmap was installed successfully. Now, remember I mentioned there was those different states. So if I go ahead and look at our files again, and I look at our playbook that we wrote here. So if I do cat apt.yaml. So look here, the state is present, right? So what we did is we said Ansible, go out to all of the devices or VMs, in our case, in Ubuntu VMs, which was two, and make sure that nmap is installed. Just make sure it's installed. We don't care about the version, just it has to be installed, right? Now, what if we wanted to, let's say, what if we wanted to uninstall nmap? So in this case, we could just go here and change state from present to absent. And by doing that, that will go out and make sure that it is uninstalled. So let's go ahead and write that. And let's just reissue that same command and let's see what the result is. All right, so it looks like this was successful. We can see here, changed equals one for both of those, which means it should have succeeded in uninstalling nmap. Again, let's go ahead and just check one of them. I'll go to a one and we'll run our nmap. There we go. So it did uninstall nmap, but here's the interesting thing, right? So we uninstalled nmap and we have this playbook set to make sure that nmap is not installed. Remember I talked about configuration management? How can, NMAP, or how can Ansible make sure that in this case, nmap is always uninstalled, for example? Let's just use that as an example. Well, in this case, let's say an administrator comes in here and they go sudo apt install nmap. All right, so an admin came in here and they installed nmap. We didn't want them to, but they did. But now we have this process. We can run Ansible. We can schedule these runs of this playbook. And we say, okay, you know, I'm gonna run it every 10 minutes. So in my case, I'm kicking it off manually, but let's just say this was a cron job or something, for example. So it would run and it would do its thing automatically. And what it's going to do is it's gonna find the nmap is not installed on one of those VMs, but it is installed on the other because we just had this, you know, this brand new admin come in here and they installed it and they shouldn't have, right? So in this case, if we go over to 01, I'm gonna open it up here, but it's still running. All right, so you can see what happened here. Look at this, 133, which is VM01, change equals one. So it removed nmap there, but for our VM02, we never installed it again. It was uninstalled already and it was, and basically Ansible came along and said, okay, you look good. You, you didn't have nmap, so I don't need to do anything with you. So if we go over to this VM right here, where we just installed nmap and we run that command, we can see that Ansible did in fact uninstall it. So that's all there really is to it at a very high level. I know there was a whole lot in this video. I know we had a couple of minor speed bumps and I had to adjust the timeout. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I like to show that stuff because you might run into similar things. So it's good to know where you can go do that. That said, in the next couple of videos probably, we'll start getting into actually automating NSXT with Ansible. 
So we'll talk more about some of those Ansible components while we're doing that. But that said, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next video.